Today we're going to be drawing some Chinese New Year's dragons and there's tons and tons of different ways to draw these but we're all going to start out with the same shape head and then you will have the choice to decorate your dragon however you want. So you can use your pencil. I'm going to use your sh my sharpie so you can see it better. The shape of the head is two circles but they're not connected in the middle so draw nice and big on your paper the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a circle but not connect it all the way so i'm gonna start here and start making a circle and then just stop when you get to the edge of the paper so it's a circle without the bottom from there, you're going to start at that point and you're going to start making a second circle around and end back right there. If you're having trouble doing that, another way to do it is just to make two full circles. Draw lightly because you're gonna erase the middle right here. So it's the same shape, just two different ways how to do it. After that, I have a idea sheet that you can look at for some ideas of what kind of noses, mouths, horns, and eyes you wanna draw. The easiest nose dragon nose that I have is right here and I'm going to start it right in the middle towards the bottom and make the letter M. These are the big nostrils of the dragon and then I'm just going to fill in some circles inside there. Next you're going to come from each bump and make a long line coming up. You can do any design inside the nose, but I'm just gonna do some curves coming up. You can also look at this and choose whatever nose you want, or you can make up your own nose. So then you can do the eyes, the mouth, and the horns. You can choose whatever ones you want. Um, a lot of Chinese dragons have like big thick eyebrows or a lot of fire. So to do the ones with the eyebrows or fire up there, you have to do those eyebrows first. So you just do like a curve coming down to the nose and back up. And then you're doing the eyeball coming off of it. So I start with the pupil, the circle inside, and then just keep doing some lines coming around. You can do points here. You can do, I did little curves there. So your eyes can be however you want them. I do have some ideas here, but you can also make up your own. You can now design your dragon however you like. So a lot of the dragons have fire in them or um, designs within the head. Like you can make diamond shapes. You can make some zigzags or decorate your dragon that way. So to color these dragons, you can either use watercolor technique, which I'll show you in a second, or if you're not using watercolors, you can just grab anything. I used skinny markers to color this in, and the markers are nice and bright. Um, you can use crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have at home. 
For the watercolor technique, since everything is, is super detailed, what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna color the details in with crayon. And then the crayon acts as a resistant to the watercolor, so it will shine through once we paint the larger patches with watercolor. So first I'm just going to pick some colors, some bright colors that I want, and start coloring in the tinier details. I'm going to super speed this, and then we I'll show you how to do the watercolor. All right, now that you're ready, the more detail that you put with crayon, the cooler this effect is going to look. I would start with the lighter colors first. So if you want any yellow, dip your paintbrush in water, kind of brush it around the paint. And then you can just start painting wherever you want that color. So the crayon is going to shine through you still can see that coming. Be really careful and paint with the tip of your brush or all of your paint is just going to blend together and you don't want it super, super wet. If you're putting colors right next to each other, just wait, like I wanna put orange on there. I'm just gonna wait a little bit and color some, paint something else and then come back to that when it's a little bit dry. When you are switching colors, rinse your brush off, wipe any extra paint on your paper towel, and then you can pick your next color. See how it goes right over the crayon. 